to my doctor's appointment. I have my gynecology appointment today. I have no idea what's wrong with my camera. I did a seven minute clip after my doctor's appointment and it's not on the SD card. What happened? We are rushing to get home. <laughs> Kayla feels like she's about to lose her cookies. Do what's right for us. Started out here, way beyond the tracks. The story of us and how we never look back. Cause this is our time, this is our life. And sometimes all you need is to smile. To get by. Was that sourdough bread you oh. had yours on? Mm -hmm. Oh god. Um, grilled cheese with ham. Okay. And I want a, oh, we got drinks. Or do I, I want, want the bacon. sourdough sandwich? I want the bacon. No, no, no. I want the spicy ghost pepper donut. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I want the bacon. If I don't make a decision, just I know. I, I want a coffee. That's what I want. Bradley wants a coffee. I want a bacon, egg, and cheese croissant. Me the too. sweet pepper bacon. Mmm. Mwah. If you haven't tried it, try it. Dunkin' Make Donut. Yeah. Okay. Dunkin' Donut. Oh, true. We're gonna go there, grab breakfast. It's early, we're at the house. We don't have a lot of time to spare, but we got about 30 minutes to go get breakfast. I feel pretty good. Wow, I ran out the house. I was Did you? hurting too. She says her knee is bothering her. We have to tell you guys a story on soccer and life and that'll come later back square one. Oh my gosh yes i'm telling you we have a lot to do today like a lot kayla actually is got she has class so she's gonna hop to the third row i think I and do class all these pages. what page are you on 33 <gasps> right, 52. by what time um 9 30. she has 15 minutes to read that you know that's not gonna happen anyway we're off to my doctor's appointment i have my gynecology appointment today um if you watch yesterday's vlog, I mentioned it. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get an ultrasound to check on the uterine polyp, because I'm gonna tell her, you know, that's what I got. Gotta get it out so they got to see it. And not really sure what else she'll do today. And yeah, we feel very rushed this morning. I should just sit back and chill for a second, you know? But I feel rushed and I hate that. Once I get there and then if I got like 30 minutes to spare, I feel better. I just don't like being late. And being a new patient, I have a lot of like forms to fill out, you know, yada, yada, yada. So. That's what we're doing, and we're gonna head to Dunkin' and grab some breakfast. All right, got some yummy goodness. Let me show you what I got. It says peppered bacon with cheese and egg. It's so good. Remember, I got the same thing because she didn't get it last time, and she wasn't sure what she wanted. Tell me how it is. Good. Um, you can see how like she was really determined to learn like I know she was in kindergarten but so I can't talk too loud Kayla's in the middle of class as you heard I was getting ready to vlog and then she started talking ew that was your neck mm -hmm. that sounded bad so we are here and I know mine is too we're here I'm nervous like I don't want to go in I mean I want to go in but I don't want to go in you know I like, just don't like the doctor's office I never have and I just dread it, and I don't know why, but I do. Well, can I get you a coffee after this? Riley's mad at me because she goes, you didn't buy me a coffee at Dunkin'. She didn't. I told everybody to bring drinks, and I totally didn't think about you wanting coffee. I haven't and had it today, and now my head's hurting. She's lying. No, I'm not. Your head cannot be hurting that quick. Is it really? I usually drink my coffee at, like, 9 o'clock. Well, I don't know. I guess I need to go hang on in. All right, so I'm gonna go in and I'll fill you guys in on what they say. Okay, guys, so hang on, I need to like, I'm trying to, all right, I, I promised my mind film Kayla when she yeah. got done with Hold up. her class. Um, so how'd it go? I'll be back. I'm not doors. I'll be back. Okay. <laughs> Okay, let's shut the door. <laughs> oh my god, that thing's in the way. Ow. So, so. just finished with class <laughs> and we had like a uh, discussion and it went really well. I think <laughs> we're graded on it, so I hope it went well. But we just had to like talk over the book that we're reading. I skimmed through the last 10 pages <laughs> right before class. But I'm gonna go back through and read it. Here's a notebook in his pants. Okay. Oh. 
I'm gonna go back through and read. But I'm finally eating breakfast. I'm gonna go live on TikTok. Do you have any other Why I'm in the car? Spring break has officially begun. Wait, you are in spring break now? I don't have class again until two weeks. I have no class next week. And then I go back to class. I'm kind of going to miss it though. I really enjoy all my classes. So if you guys have any suggestions, please let me know because I want to do something for spring break. Me too. Me and Aiden don't go on spring break though because we are ready to hurry up and get out of school. And if we take spring break, it'll put us back getting out longer. I only have six more weeks left of school, guys. I don't know how many more weeks we have left, but I have no clue. But, but my last class is like in the end of April. No. Oh, I'm not looking forward for exams. My next test I have in algebra is an exam, and I'm like not ready for it because I suck at algebra. Well, I don't suck at it. I'm doing pretty good, but it's just like annoying. And some of the stuff I have to do, like the stuff I've had to do recently, is like so hard, and I don't understand it. Figure it out. I'm but yeah, really, I want to. I really want to go to Florida for spring break because everyone's going to Florida. I know. I want to go too. And it's just like. I'm trying so to figure it out if we can make it work though. I'm like trying to plan out and see if we can do something. Like we could do something on the weekend or something like leave on Friday and then come back on it. No, you have work. God, you suck. Which we'll you home then? <coughs> if I work on Wednesday and get off on Wednesday, we can then go leave like Wednesday night and come back Saturday morning and I'd be good. But I don't know, we'll have to figure it out. We're trying to figure out something we did for spring break. But mm -hmm. yeah, we'll update you guys when mom gets back in the car. Make sure everything is fine with her. Oh, um, I really hope she takes me back to Dunkin's. I really want coffee. And she said she would, but then again. But we gotta rush home because I gotta go to my doctor's appointment. Yeah, Kayla's a doctor's appointment. Kayla has gone into the doctor's office and I'm really hoping this doesn't take a long time. What? Yeah, he put up the little shades and I shut this. It was getting kind of hot. We rode with the sunroof open and my face was like it's on fire, especially at the top of my head. I was like, okay, we need to put it up for a few minutes. But it's a gorgeous day, guys. 74 is what it's reading on my car, which is normally not 100% accurate, but I mean, it's close enough. I'm pretty sure it's around 74, 70. Five, I'm guessing. It's nice outside. I may go home put on shorts. We might go take a walk later. Why? Why? We've already done a walk. That was no. yesterday. My leg is gonna fall off if we go on another walk. I know. Really. What? My leg is gonna fall off if we go on another walk. Why would your leg fall off? Because my knee is like something wrong with it. It's like dislocated or something. Oh, sit back so we can talk. Number one, I think I dislocated my knee. I don't even know what I did. I ran on the beach, and when I ran on the beach, it like, something happened to it, and it now hurts. I can't walk okay. on it. So we were at our beach house, if you saw that vlog, and we were trying to catch the sunset. Before it went down, yeah. So we made I, it. We did. Broke leg and all. Yep, so I took off running, and of course that made everybody else run, except Kayla. I don't wanna get the Kayla run. walked. No, so everybody was running, we, get, we ran all the way to the beach, which wasn't a long run, but it was a good distance. And we ran the whole way there. And when we got there, you didn't tell me you'd hurt your leg. No, because you I You didn't thought, say anything about it right then. No, because like usually it happens like when I go up the stairs sometimes, like I'll take two steps at a time when I get to the very top, it like oh, hurts. It hurts, I'm like, oh my gosh, but then it goes away. Mm -hmm. So I was like, oh, this is another one of those times I ran, it's gonna hurt for a little bit, but it'll go away. Well then, the next day came and we didn't really walk much because we literally went, got in the car and left. And we, like we drove on the road. Yeah, so. we didn't get out much. And that's the day we had to keep going back and forth to the beach because of Kayla's car. Yeah, and then we got home. And we chilled. On, yeah, we got home and chilled. And then that weekend we really didn't do much. And then on Monday, I noticed like it was still hurting. It hadn't mm -hmm. gone away. And I finally told Mom, I was like, Mom, we ran at the beach. And when we ran at the beach, something happened to my leg. And now it's Did like, it pop? No. It just started hurting. It just like had okay. a catch in it. Okay. That's what it felt like. It didn't pop or anything. It just felt like I had a catch in it. Okay, I have no idea what's wrong with my camera, but all day long it's been turning off randomly and the screen like is going black and then the lens won't go in and retract. I did a seven minute clip 
after my doctor's appointment and it's not on the SD card. We also just talked for four minutes continuing about my knee. And, and none of that saved. saved. It completely got stuck and I was like, mom, I was like, the camera's stuck. And she's like, oh my gosh, what's wrong with that? I'm and then it turned off, it just completely went black. And, it, and then me and mama looked and it didn't save any of the conversation. And I literally just had a whole conversation with you guys and it didn't even save. Oh my gosh, what is wrong with my camera? I don't know if it's the camera or maybe the SD card. I need to go home and get everything off of this and just reformat it and see if that fixes it or go buy a new one. <gasps> I might just go buy a new one. Let me do that. Okay, we're gonna have to do short clips and check to make sure they're saving for today. I will tell you guys about my doctor's appointment because apparently y'all have no idea. And Bradley's gonna continue talking about her knee. Hang on. Okay, so anyways, what happened with my knee is continuing on about that. Um, after, you know, Monday I was telling mom, I was like, you know, mom, it still hurts and it just won't go away. We went walking yesterday and because I stretched it out, it made it feel better. I ran and everything and it was fun. But then last night, I was literally limping on my knee because it hurt so bad and last night I was trying to like stretch it out to see if that was helping it and I did like crisscross applesauce. I can't even crisscross applesauce because when I do it, it like pulls something in my knee. Like it pulls so bad. And I'm like, I don't know if that's because like I tore something in my knee or if it's just because, you know, it's sore because it is bruised around the area that it and like swollen around the area that hurts. But I don't know if I tore anything or if it's just, you know, no, nothing to worry about. So the other thing with soccer, I can't do that because they had told me that they could put me on a team. And so me and mom were like, okay, we're excited. You know, we went and bought everything. So they're like, we can put you on a team. Well, then just yesterday, they told us that the team they would put me on is completely out of town. It's not even here. And we don't want to drive all the way there for practice and games and like, it's a really far drive from our Some house. miscommunication happened between me and the lady I was talking to and she thought I was in a whole nother town when I was not. Yeah. And when I went back and talked to her, I said, I've got Riley's practice, but her practice is like in a whole nother town. And I was like, you know, what does this mean? You know, can we just be switched to the town that we're in? And she come back and said, all the teams are full. So I'm sitting here thinking, you know, it's always luck. our luck. <laughs> it is always our luck things like this happen. So yeah, everything's full and we're gonna have to just bypass on soccer and I'm so sorry. Yeah, it's whatever. But it's okay. I said, I feel bad. So we've decided we are going to do tumbling. Yeah, cause I'm, I mean, it's- At least get her yeah. going on something. She's gonna start doing tumbling. There's the update on that. All right, I'm gonna try to have a discussion with you guys about the whole doctor's appointment situation. I'm really upset that clip did not save because I talked forever and explained everything and having to tell it twice makes me like not just want to cut out a bunch of stuff I said. But <laughs> I'm gonna try to get through this really quick. What happened was I went into the doctor's appointment. The lady was super, super nice and she did give me a pelvic exam and she did a pap smear. I already felt better with her just for that simple fact because the doctor I went to previously didn't even examine me. She just did an ultrasound and scheduled me for surgery. And I did not feel comfortable with that doctor and I know this may not make any sense so make sure you go back and watch some of the previous vlogs where I talk about the surgery and then it'll all make sense. But the previous doctor, I just didn't feel comfortable with her so I went to get a second opinion and this doctor immediately gave me a pelvic exam and everything to check, make sure everything was fine to proceed with the next step. She also told me that there was no record of me ever seeing another doctor for this issue. And they have, they have ways to look at your records from every appointment you go to in the area. She said there was no record of me having a scheduled surgery. There was no record of me having an ultrasound. There's no record of me even seeing that doctor I went to. That sounds like so fishy to me. Like why would that not be in the system? I was scheduled in everything. So long story short, I didn't go to that doctor. I went to another doctor today to get my second opinion. And I feel so, so, so much better going to this doctor. So what she decided today is, first of all, we did, like I said, the exam today. She is scheduling me with a radiologist to do a full ultrasound, which will be where they are gonna examine my bladder, my uterus, my ovaries, like everything. So they're doing two different type of ultrasounds and it's gonna be more in detail. She's gonna measure exactly 
exactly the size of the polyp because she has no measurements and she asked me did I have measurements and I was like no the last doctor told me nothing I literally went in there didn't get undressed I went in there went got an ultrasound and she said we're doing surgery that's why I didn't feel comfortable. It was too rushed. I felt like she didn't even know my body enough to even be doing surgery on me. Do you know what I mean? So, the new doctor seems super, super nice. I feel very confident in her. And we're taking the right steps. So, she did tell me, as far as the rash goes, she's not 100% what that's coming from. Which, a lot of people are puzzled. But, she did tell me before my next cycle, if we haven't had surgery... To try to invent a drill to see if that helps and take pictures and kind of give her an update on that so i'm probably not going to have the surgery before my next cycle which kind of stinks because i was hoping to have that done before the next one but it's okay so at the moment i'm waiting now for a phone call from the radiologist to get my ultrasound scheduled and then after that i'll come back in the office speak with the doctor and we'll go from there. But I feel really good with my decision. I'm glad I switched doctors. I don't think it was a bad decision. I feel good. I didn't leave her office thinking, oh no, I'm having second thoughts. I had really bad second thoughts with the first one. And I always say, trust your gut. If you don't feel right about something, maybe it's not right. So no bad mouth in the first doctor. I'm not saying she's not a great doctor. She probably is, but she wasn't the one for me. So that's the update. I'm going to check the SD card and make sure, make sure that this clip saved. If it didn't, I'm going to be so upset. I hope nothing's wrong with my camera because I don't have the money to go out and buy a new one right now. So, anyway, we'll catch you guys shortly when Kayla's out of the doctor's office. Was, what happened? She was trying to like, tell me what happened. Blow up and get around. And I couldn't get around because she was stepping outside. So I, I was standing right here. I was doing myself. And yeah, she but I knew she go. was going to step outside. Reenact it. What happened? Okay, I was walking like this. I was walking like this and I knew she was going to be stepping out, so I like, I don't have to stand there with so I was like, okay, whatever, I'll just step on here. Because I stepped on here the other day and did it. Well, I didn't notice you because I stepped up here earlier, like the other day. Yeah. There's the thing right here. What is that? The I blow up? No, because that's right there. I don't know what this is. Okay. But it's like hard. Right? So when you step there, what happened? I stepped, on, I stepped on the edge of it and I went like that and I almost fell. She like, for like five minutes, unless she was scared. <laughs> really? <laughs> I heard y'all yell. I didn't know what had happened. <laughs> <sighs> Good. I'm glad you got a kick out of it, Kayla. All right, it's time to eat some lunch. So, lunch choice today. Leftover pasta salad is great. Do you want any? No? I made a little salad, and I'm eating some tortilla chips. Bradley's having bread and butter. Aiden said he wasn't hungry, so he has decided that he's going to go burn some energy off because he's been stuck in the car all day. There he is, enjoying himself like one of his favorite activities when it's a nice warm day and I don't blame him. I'd like to go walking. I have a slight headache. I think it's because I haven't had a lot of water today. So I need to get on my water. So that's next thing. I'm going to chug a bottle and hopefully that'll help. Briley is deciding does she want more bread or does she not? I don't know. I'd say fix it. Kayla's decided on ice cream which I already told her we might go do Cold Stone tonight. I'm not hungry. I just want to like taste it. I've been eating all this ice cream for like I don't know a year. A week. I agree. Aiden did come inside. Did you have fun jumping on the trampoline? Yeah. So Aiden has decided on the mini hot dogs. They look good, don't they, man? Mm-hmm. It is officially audition time. Are we ready? Yep. You sure? Yep. Okay. Oh, I need um the stand for the camera. It's in there. So we're getting ready to do this. You guys wish Bradley luck and we'll see you after. We just finished. So how do you feel about the audition? Um, pretty good. I feel really good. Mm -hmm. All right, now to edit and upload. We are heading out right now, or have headed out to grab dinner. The girls have actually ran to get my dinner. It's not all I'm eating, okay? I actually got a kid's meal from Chili's. I'm not a fan of Chili's. No hate to people that love it, but I've just never been like a big super fan of it. And Briley loves their chips with like salsa and ranch and she's been craving it forever. So I was like, you know what? We'll let you pick tonight. So she picked chilies. I got a kid's meal, like a cheese quesadilla one with mashed potatoes and a salad. But my main thing I want and I'm getting first, which is dessert. We are rushing to get <laughs> home. Filming. I am gonna film you. Oh, Kayla feels like she's about to lose her cookies. Literally. <laughs> She, we ate Cold Stone, and she got like pretty much the same thing I did. And she ain't feeling too hot. Why is that on my chin? 
keep pulling my chin's broke out. She's not feeling too good. Are you gonna make it? Because if you ain't gonna make it, I need to pull over. Honestly, I don't know at this moment. You're really making me nervous. Please. I'm just not trying. Wait, to what is that it. up there? Please don't lose it in the car, okay? Okay, I'm not trying to, but I can't tell if it smells like helping or if I feel a little better, if I feel nauseous. I just can't even tell at the moment. I just feel sick. So you don't Maybe know? Maybe I just need like real food. I don't know what it is. Dinner was great. Uh, we got home and Kayla didn't eat right away. She decided to hang on a few minutes just to make sure she wasn't going to get sick. And then after that, she did eat her dinner and now she's in the shower. She's feeling a little better but not a hundred, so she's decided once she's done with her bath, she's gonna go ahead and just go to bed. And I don't much blame her. I mean, it's already like, what, nine? It's 9.30, oh my gosh. So that's what's going on with Kayla. She's okay, you guys. She didn't get sick, so I was very thankful for that because had she got sick on the way home, I probably would've got sick watching her get sick, okay? Because I don't do good with that. Um, I'm editing Briley's audition right now, and then I'm gonna work on her video for tomorrow and I'll probably just have to edit mine tomorrow when I get back from the doctor. So hopefully it's not late. If it was late, then you guys know why. But yeah, that's what's going on. I'm gonna go ahead and call it a night. Briley's down there hanging out on the floor watching some TikToks and doing her thing. And I'm tired. I wanna hurry up and get this done and I want to go to bed. I'd love to be in bed by 10.30. That's my goal tonight. Let's see if I can do it. I'll let you guys know tomorrow if I remember to tell you if I made that goal. I've got to work really fast though to get there. That only gives me an hour to do her vlog and it probably will take longer than that. But we're gonna try. So if you enjoyed today's vlog, please hit that like button. Also don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, and we'll see you in the next vlog.